The SKS was designed in the early 1940s and has been produced in Russia, China, and many former Eastern Bloc countries. Millions of these rifles have been collected and shot by sportsmen since they were first introduced into the United States. Like the AK-47, the SKS is known for its reliability even under the harshest conditions. However, it still requires a little TLC, especially when shooting corrosive ammo. In this series by Brownells, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to disassemble, clean, lubricate, and reassemble your SKS rifle. As always, before performing any maintenance, begin by opening the magazine and inspecting the chamber, ensuring that the gun is unloaded. With the gun now safe, close the magazine, rotate the takedown lever 90 degrees, and pull the lever out to the right. With the takedown lever rotated and pulled out, the receiver cover is free to be removed. This leaves the recoil spring assembly exposed, and it can also be taken out and set aside. Then the bolt and carrier can be drawn rearward, and the carrier lifted out, followed by the bolt. Next, we can remove the handguard along with the gas piston. To do so, locate the handguard catch at the top rear of the handguard and rotate it upward 90 degrees. Note that you should not go past the detent at this point in order to prevent the piston extension from shooting out, as it is under spring tension. Once rotated 90 degrees, lift the handguard from the barrel and remove the piston. We now need to remove the piston extension from the rear sight assembly. It's compressed by a strong spring, so be careful not to lose it. Place your hand in front of the piston extension and rotate the handguard catch past the detent. Then remove the extension and its spring and set them aside. Before we go any further, we need to lift the cleaning rod from its recess. Now we can move on to the trigger group. Use a punch to depress the trigger guard latch and take out the trigger mechanism. Then pull the magazine down and out. Be aware that the recoil spring assembly, magazine assembly, and trigger mechanism should not be disassembled for normal maintenance, but will need to be cleaned. Next, we'll separate the stock from the receiver. The receiver may be very tight in the stock, but it will pivot up at the rear, allowing you to remove it. Lastly, we'll disassemble the bolt. You'll want to use a 1 8 inch punch to remove the firing pin retainer. Then take the firing pin out of the rear, Push the extractor rearward and pivot it away from the bolt. The last step is to take the spring out of the extractor. The gun is now fully disassembled and ready for cleaning, and we'll go over that in part two of this Brownells SKS maintenance series.